I'm Teddy Abrams, the music director of your Louisville Orchestra, and you are about to experience a brand new work of art commissioned just for you by the groundbreaking Louisville Arts Network. The whole idea is that every single day we commission a new work of art in any genre, paintings, sculpture, music, drama, poetry, stories, anything at all that's made by Louisvillians for Louisvillians. It's to help us get through this all together. It's to help our artists to lead, and it's to draw on our incredible creativity here in this wonderful town to show us the way forward and bring us all together. Here you go with a new commission from your Louisville Arts Network. Enjoy. Hello everybody, my name is Cameron Davis and I'm a 20 year old student attending the University of Louisville. I'm in the art program there and today I'll be showing you all a few of my paintings as well as a painting that was a micro commission through the Louisville Art Network. So I started painting when I was about 14 years old. I started with oil paints and this is when I really started taking art serious. I had always been a an artist, but typically I would do drawings prior to this time. But when I was 14, I really started stepping my game up with how I approached art. So from the time I was 14 to about 16, I used oil paints and then I decided to stick with acrylics for quite a while. And it wasn't until this year in January that I switched back to oils and it's been a, it was a very good choice in my opinion. So I'm basically self-taught. I haven't had much training other than the University of Louisville's art program, but I was always artistic and always teaching myself starting out from a very early age. And if I were to give a tip or to give any tips for beginners, I would say that the best thing to do is to always try something new to be willing to go out of your comfort zone to get a new effect or really just to push yourself and see what you can do with art or really anything. So before I go on to sharing the main piece, I thought I would show three of my other pieces that I've done. This piece right here is a collaboration I'm doing with my girlfriend who's also an artist. We haven't come up with a name for it yet, but it is three by four feet. And it's basically just a compilation of a bunch of different trees and stuff. It's going to be a, like a fantasy nature scene. And then next, I have this piece. This one is called Ancestral Knowledge. And it is a three by four foot oil painting I did this semester in my art class. This is more of my uh, visionary and abstract artwork that I do. But I also do some realism as well, which leads me to the third painting. Now this piece is called Lauren, and it is a portrait of my girlfriend that I did for the final project of my art class. And I would say this is the most detailed painting I've done. Um, it's four by four feet, so in the time frame I worked on it, it took me probably five hours a day for 20 days. With all of that being said, I'll now talk about my final piece. This piece is called Seed of Hope. And my motivation for it was um, with the rough times that we're all going through right now with social distancing and stuff, it can be hard to be creative and to find motivation and stuff like that. So the seed in this painting represents the, the potential we have right now as individuals to use this time of separation to work on ourselves and better ourselves so that when everything opens back up, we can, we'll, we'll be planting the seed for a better future. And uh, a great inspiration for this piece was the, the great support I've gotten from the art community in Louisville for the past year and a half when I've really started becoming active with them. Uh, for me, it started with the flea off market. I started vending there last year in May, I believe. And 
really just meeting all those artists and stuff really inspired me and it showed me that I could branch out my creativity more than I ever thought I could. And it was very influential. So how did I create this piece? I used oil paints on a stretch canvas. Initially, this was an underpainting for an entirely different painting, but I decided that uh, due to limited art supplies, I was going to use this painting instead. And I think that's cool because it really gives it a, a unique touch that this wasn't planned out really specifically. It was sort of just me expressing how I felt with the resources that I had at the moment. With all that being said, I want to thank the Lift Up Lou, Lift Up Lou and the Louisville Artist Network for making this possible, and thank you all.